This video is brought to you thanks to Squarespace. Squarespace is the virtual home of my website, my art portfolio, and online shop. You can present your work with Squarespace professional portfolio designs with beautiful customizable galleries and automatic image scaling to showcase your artwork in the best way. Connect your art portfolio and online shop with just one click. Thanks to their marketing tools and their on-point analytics, this platform helps you optimize your business while having a beautiful online presence. If you're ready to showcase your latest projects, make sure to head to squarespace.com to try them for free. And once you're ready to launch, use the code CAROARÉVALO to get 10% of your first purchase of a website or domain. Hi there, welcome back. A year ago, I made this video after going to a cabin in the forest, and as we are about to return there, I realized I never shared this video. And in all honesty, it was because I wasn't really sure what I wanted to share with you. And I guess now it's more clear. Now that I'm revisiting the images, I guess that the purpose of this video was to remember the importance of disconnecting and kind of like realigning with yourself and nature. So Eva and I rented this cabin that was pretty much secluded from the fast pace of the modern world. There was no Wi-Fi and we had our phones in airplane mode and just kind of did our own thing. This was the first vacation we ever took together, just the two of us, in the six years we've been together. We had no exact plans for our days here. I worked a bit on my sketchbook paintings and Evo found this amazing book inside the cabin called The Tesseract that he couldn't stop reading. He actually stayed up to finish it before we left. And it was just so amazing to see the difference when we step out from our normal routine, the world of waking up and just rushing to make the most you can in as little time as possible, instead of just listening and going at a pace that you'd allow yourself to go at. And of course, there's a lot of reasons for that. You cannot just expect that the world waits for you always, but it's interesting that all of us, it seems, are always in a hurry, always trying to catch up with something that actually doesn't even exist. But since that's the way of the world and everybody wants to make something out of themselves, having this time to break the spell and just allow yourself to be was such a good reminder of the little things that are really important in life. Even something as small as a breakfast or maybe walking barefoot or taking a hike. It's the simplest thing and it was beautiful that all the footage on this video we filmed in two days and the rest of the days we had all tech completely off to go fully in. Being around nature is one of the things that helps me the most. And I guess it's because nature is not pushing itself to go faster than it should, to go somewhere else, to grow faster, to produce fruits that become seeds and grow faster. It's just going at its own pace and embodies the idea of homeostasis in the sense of being in balance with your system and your environment. And I don't know, Maybe something in our bodies or our minds is able to absorb that. But when I'm surrounded by nature and step outside, my organism, my body and my soul start to go back into that natural pace. To wake up and actually appreciate being alive paying attention to how I'm feeling instead of just start to map out all the things that you need to do to keep up with your schedule. Always looking to the next thing instead of the present.
I did yoga outside every day there and even that was different. I managed to just do it because I really wanted to and that difference is the secret I believe and something that inspired me to come from that mindset from then on. I got to make my cup of cacao and just drink watching the pond and I feel that's why for me it's so important to every morning take a couple hours to really re-understand why I'm grateful for being alive today, every day. That's Eno, you know, a little goat who is the best and we became friends just because instead of being distracted with a million things or ideas in our heads, we paid attention. Watching closely how nature behaves is one of my favorite things. I love to be close to bodies of water and just lose myself observing all the little different types of insects and plants that are around, paying attention to their shapes, colors, behaviors, and sounds. I find that if you take some time to appreciate that with real interest, then you can find yourself hours later happier filled with new ideas and ready to create. We also went out to discover what Mountain Dale had to offer. We found this incredible outdoor bar next to this little river stream. We just had a beer and talked and shared and just reconnected as a couple. We found this amazing pizza place called The Dale. If you're ever around upstate New York, check it out. I personally recommend the four mushroom pizza, of course. We had slow nights. The owner actually gifted us a bottle of cider after we helped him rolling out some hay. And it was because we weren't in a rush. We'd spend the nights listening to the sounds of the forest, a core that for whatever reason seems to relax human souls. There's Ivo reading his book, and I was just in the middle of Merlin Sheldrake's book, Entangled Life. And it went on pretty much like that. Nothing crazy, just actually giving ourselves space and time to disconnect and reconnect with ourselves. To nap, to remember how it feels, so when we inevitably went back to the crazy rhythm of the world, we could have a balance, a reminder that there is something much more important and bigger and we can keep that feeling with us forever, even in the craziness of a fast-paced world. It was just such beautiful days. We almost wanted to talk to the owner and ask if we could buy the cabin from him. But of course, we had to go back. We were still living in Brooklyn at the time. So yeah, reality checks. Maybe one day though, who knows? Well, that's it. We had a great time. Just remember to disconnect. And thanks again Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Feel free to subscribe to my channel or social media streams if you like what you see here. Bye for now!